Okay, um, I've got an old Apple iPhone 3G, which is a phone that came out in July of 2008, so it's about nine years old. It stopped holding a charge, so I've bought a new phone, a Samsung phone. Anyway, I need to get some photos off this and some contact details, you know, people's phone numbers and stuff. But um, since my Samsung phone is with a new provider, I guess they've cancelled my contract with the old provider, which is O2, a company in Britain that provided the network coverage for that. Um, now when I switch the phone on, I get this symbol. So it's obviously telling me, use a USB plug to connect to iTunes. Now, as you can see, this is my original connection. It's plugged in. Uh, I've just downloaded the latest version of iTunes, which is version 12.73, which was about a 252 megabyte download, which is ridiculous. Um, anyway, it does, the phone will not show up. I'll just show you. The phone won't show up in iTunes. I'll just show you a bit about the phone. So, I'm talking about an iPhone 3G, not an iPhone 3GS. I'm talking about the very first model of iPhone that came out. Okay, so as they say, it's about nine years old now. Uh, obviously discontinued. It's a very old phone, but it's lasted for me, as you can see, nine years. Um, iPhone 3G. Okay. Right, let me show you my iTunes. Let's get rid of the browser. Hold on. Right, so... Here's iTunes, as you can see, there's the entire window. There's no phone symbol up there, my phone is not connected. Phone's not showing up down the side there. It's very annoying. Um, and then I've been following a few steps on, on uh, the internet by searching. And I've opened up Device Manager, clicked on portable devices. You can see it's just showing up some external hard drives I've got attached. It's not showing up on iPhone there, so device manager is no use. Uh, I've been looking also to find a driver, I'll see if I can somehow download a driver. And let me just show you, what did I type in? I typed in driver for iPhone 3G. There's a discussion here on an Apple thread, which doesn't work. They basically say iTunes. Um, the replies delivered. Uh, yeah, and, and people say it's all included in iTunes. So iTunes is, is should be a thing that has the drivers and finds your phone. Apparently, let me click back. Then I saw the second thing. Something called solve solveusoft.com claims to have the driver for you says look series 3G that's right I've got Windows 10 on my computer so Windows 10 is good it's saying the size 3.4 megabytes sounds perfect so I clicked on download that and the software that I use to download is called IDM Internet Download Manager and that detected a virus in this so don't download this and is a company that makes something called Driver Doc. It doesn't say that this is free. I was skeptical. I was thinking, oh, it, normally if they say it's free, fine. If they don't say it's free, then I was suspecting they were going to say, oh, you need to buy this in order for it to work. Um, but I'm just going to show you again. Let's do this again. Watch this. Download now. Oh, okay. That's saying duplicate download. I'll say add the duplicate and overwrite the existing so that's just to get us to do this again where is it going to go to right so set up driver dock see it's not it's not just getting me the Apple 3D it's trying to get me this driver dock thing oh there we go look Windows Defender Antivirus found threats anyway I'm going to try it again start download oh 6.7 megabytes. Let's say it has downloaded. Let me click on open folder. No, that's Windows saying it's found a virus again. 
the fact that it's saying that, <laughs> what I'm going to do, right click on it, I'm deleting that. Bye bye. Delete. An unexpected error is keeping you from deleting the file. Oh god, why are things so fucking complicated these days? Why can't anything ever work easily? Try again. Alright, so that's now gone. Okay, so you can't trust that website. Solveusoft.com is a virus. Scumbags. So let's get back. So does anybody know how I can get a Windows 10 computer to detect an old Apple iPhone 3G? This is the 8 gigabyte version. I don't know if you can see that. And there you go. Blooming threats found again. Oh, let's click on that, actually. Let's. Oh, why? You know, Microsoft give you about two seconds to click on something before it disappears. Where has it gone? How am I supposed to do anything about something? At that speed, that is absolutely ludicrous. There's so many stupid things about Windows 10. Anyway, how do I get Windows 10 to detect an Apple iPhone 3G? That's my question. I'll put this on YouTube. If anybody can answer that, please do. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.